I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a theme switcher to a React application. I'll do this by showing you how to build out a simple website with three different theme options that can be toggled and saved in the browser for the user's next visit. If you're a part of my AppRite React playlist, you can go ahead and just continue to build on top of the code we left off from in the last video. And if you're not a part of that playlist, no worries at all. I do have some boilerplate code set up that you can just go ahead and clone and set up locally. It's very minimal. So we're going to go ahead and do that right before we get started. Okay, so for those of you that are building with me, you can find the GitHub repo linked up in the video description. Go ahead and clone it and you can find the starting code at folder part two template only. Make sure you run the basic installs and start the server and make sure you see this output before you begin. Now to get things started, first thing we'll need to do is make sure we have our style set with CSS variables. This will be within index.css in my app. At the top of your CSS file, you'll wanna make sure you have these variables set within root and make sure they're applied to items throughout your application. My app is already using these variables, so as I scroll through, we'll notice the main theme colors are set, text colors, borders, and so on. To add a new theme, we'll need to create a new set of variables that will represent the styles for that particular theme. I'll use an attribute selector to update these variables when the theme attribute is set to dark. And from here, I'll just copy and paste over all my variables and update these values to represent the colors I'll want in dark mode. I already have some colors set, so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste some values over. Now, in order to use these variables, what we'll need to do is go into our index.html file and we need to add a custom attribute to the body tag and set the value of theme to dark. And what will happen here is our CSS file will now use the variables for dark mode instead of the default value. So it just overrides those values. So right now, if we open up our application, we should see everything in dark mode. Okay, so that's how we update our theme, but we don't wanna do this manually. We wanna be able to actually toggle a theme and switch this attribute whenever a user clicks on it. So let's go ahead and remove this attribute and start the process of building in that theme toggler. We'll create the theme toggle button as its own component. So within my project, I'll add it to the components folder and call it theme option. I'll quickly generate the component with a VS code extension that I have. And from here, I'll add in the prop that will be passed down for each theme, which will just be a string value of the theme name. I'll give the button a class name of theme option and then the ID value, which will just be theme and then the name of the theme. So we can create individual styling for each theme by this ID. Let's move on to the CSS file and add in some styling for the theme option class by giving it a height and width, along with a border, radius, and a hover effect. For each theme, I'll use its ID to set the border and background color. And we'll also add the styling for purple mode, even though we'll add that in a bit after we complete the functionality for this button. To use the theme option component, we'll move on to the notes page and import it here. Let's also create a wrapper, which will hold each theme option and give it the class of theme options. In this wrapper, we'll add in three instances of the theme option component and pass in each theme name as a prop. One as dark, one as light, and the last one as purple. Let's quickly jump back into our CSS file and add in some styling for this wrapper to make sure that each theme is correctly in line by setting display to flex with some space in between these items. Now for the theme switcher functionality, we'll create a function inside of our theme option component. We'll call this function set theme and within this function, let's access the body tag and set the custom attribute just like we did before, only now this will be done dynamically. The theme value will be set based on the prop passed down for each instance. Now, if we go ahead and test this, we can click on each theme option and see the change happen, only we still need to add in purple mode and the transition effect just to make this look a little bit smoother. For the transition effect, I'll jump back into the CSS file and since we have a div with the ID of app that wraps all of our pages and components, we'll add the transition effect here. Moving on to purple mode, I'll create a new set of variables targeting the theme attribute with the value of purple. I'll copy and paste over the same variables and update the values just like I did before and just update these with values I already have preset. Now, if we go ahead and test this, it should look a little bit smoother and now we have purple mode as well. So a theme switcher isn't much value if we force a user to set this every single time they visit our website. So let's go ahead and actually set this theme value inside of local storage to ensure that anytime a user loads up this website, the theme that they last set will be automatically loaded and they'll get the style that they want. Inside of the set theme function, we can set the theme in local storage by calling local storage dot set item and by passing in the key and the theme as the value. Now to get this theme when the page is loaded, let's jump back into app.js and get our theme from local storage and set it. So if there is a theme, we'll simply update the body attribute. 
Now that's it for this video. I hope you all learned a lot. Leave me any feedback in the comment section and I'll see you all in the next video.